We have a special guest, a man who knows how to give orders, and I know how to take them here. Uh, Arlie uh, uh, is here. The gun, may I call you Gunny? Jeff, don't bother me. I'm watching Fiona. <laughs> you know, she looks extremely relaxed up there, doesn't she? If it was up to me, we'd have a hang, girl, hang glider up there. That would really be fun, wouldn't it? Arlie Army is the uh, man from Full Metal Jacket and 74 other movies that you recognize as the, you're probably the most iconic drill instructor in history. Um, you almost said drill sergeant, didn't you? I'm I sorry. can tell you were thinking drill sergeant. <laughs> yes, sir. Marine Corps drill Gunning, instructor. Yes, sir. You got and that treat. <laughs> I want you to be my drill instructor. Do you think I have what it takes? You know what? I think you're hopeless. I don't think we could ever do anything with you, Jeff. I think it's just a wasted cause. Here I come all the way to Texas expecting to get barbecue and chili, and you feed me shrimp. Come on. Then not even off the barbie. It's, it's in a saucepan, for Pete's sake. Well, they're, they're prepared to eat, sir. Yes, sir. Delicious. Yeah, and you're in town because you've got a new clothing line, and we got some friends at Top Brass Tactical there off of 10. They want to meet you tomorrow. you got a ton of stuff going on. True Spec. I've been with True Spec for a number of years. And the reason I'm with True Spec is because I I started wearing them. Well, heck, I've tried them all. I started wearing them a, a number of years ago, and I found out that I can't bust them, and they don't fade. And I, one pair of trousers lasts me for the rest of my life. So I decided I'd reach out to True Spec, and that's the way we would go. we got boot cut coming up now. Do you? I decided that, you know, Texas... I'm I'm old Kansas farm boy, and we're right across the border here, not too far away from you. But I saw I saw boys from Middle America and Texas and Oklahoma and places yeah. like that. We wear boot cuts. Listen, we I remember. I, listen, I remember what you said about Texas, and we can't we can't say that on television. But, but, but we know you love it here, even though I haven't gotten you any barbecue yet. See, you brought that up. Now, the temptation is so over, and almost you can't do overwhelming. It. We're, we're on live national San Antonio television. Right. There's little kids and out there watching. Sir, sir, yes, sir. Well, they may remember you from Toy Story. You were the Sarge. I did uh, three Toy Stories. Yeah. Three, uh, the hardest part about doing Toy Stories, loved it. It was a great paycheck. But the hardest part about doing Toy Stories was to drive to L.A. and back. <laughs> It was, it was a piece a, of cake. A, it was an easy way to make money, and it was a fun show to do. And you know, there's, I don't think there's many kids in America that don't have a copy of Toy Story in their bedroom. Well, they all know your voice immediately. So kids yeah. and parents and anybody, obviously, who's in the military is familiar with you, and you're going to shut people down tomorrow <laughs> over at Top, over top, top Brass. Brass. I'm going to be at Top Brass <laughs> yes, tomorrow. Sir. It's out on I-10. Everybody it, knows where Top Brass is, yes, don't yes, they? Yes, sir. May I touch you? Is that okay? Yeah, you're fine. Okay. Okay, good. I Thank think you. we're both very secure in our masculinity. I, I, I don't have, have a problem. I don't have that. a problem, sir. No, sir. Okay. You can head to Top Brass tomorrow. Depends and on me. where you touch me. It, uh, yes, sir. Sir, yes, sir. Uh, we, <laughs> you see the Sarge, <laughs> the g Gunny. He will be there tomorrow. And uh, by the way, I love your TV commercials too. They all when they come on, it's always hilarious. All right, I love. I'm it. a firm believer that if there's no humor in them, then then what what good are they? Right. And Nobody it, remembers them. They forget them right away. And so myself, when, generally when a commercial comes on TV, I get up and get fresh in my cup of coffee, you know, or something like that, or go to the bathroom or something. But, but I don't watch the commercial. Now, if it's a commercial that catches my fancy and I get a laugh out of, not only will I watch the commercial, I will then go to the email. I'll, uh, send, I'll email it all to all my friends. Well, you know? yeah, go to topbrassmilitary.com. You want to tell them that right now? Tell them to keep watching SA Live. Well, you, you don't go any place. Don't make me have to come over to your house and adjust your TV set, buddy. You okay. wouldn't like that. It wouldn't be very pleasant, I'll guarantee you. But I'll be at Top Brass, I-10. you got to come out and see me tomorrow. It's right next to Aaron's Rents. Thank you, sir. Hey, Ross. Right. Sir, Denver yes, Fox. sir. Thank, Thank you, you for your service as well. You're, thanks thanks you're, for helping us out. You're an inspiration. All right, attention all Trekkies. When we come back, Fiona is going to tell us more.